When Titanic set sail for America in 1912, the only way to cross the Atlantic was by ship. Aircraft existed, but the technology was in its infancy, and many decades would need to pass before aeroplanes could supersede ships as the preferred mode of transport. This left people with little choice but to travel by ship. But what about those guests with means that couldn't bear the thought of going on a transatlantic crossing without their beloved dog? Well, White Star Line had you covered. First class travellers often travelled aboard passenger ships with their pets, and Titanic was no exception. In fact, as the ship left the Irish coast and headed out to open ocean on her maiden voyage, there were 12 dogs on board. Proud owners of the dogs were expected to host a dog show for first class passengers on Sunday the 15th of April. However, fate would intervene with the ship going down in the early hours of that same morning. Of the 12 dogs that sailed with Titanic, three survived the disaster. That's a 25% survival rate, which is better than the survival rate of the crew, 76% of which died when the ship went down. As a side note, the Titanic also had a ship's cat. This was common practice at the time. Titanic's cat was named Jenny, and she had previously sailed with the Olympic. She was on board the ship to keep any stowaway mice at bay. Now, while the fate of Jenny is unknown, there were rumours that circulated at the time of Titanic's departure that the ship's cat left the ship, and it was seen as a bad omen by many of the crew. Although, of course, the true story will never really be known.